it was a girls trip. So we were super excited like to have fun. It was supposed to be a relaxing girls getaway months in the making. It was scary. It was super scary. But Jessica Paramine says when she and her girlfriends showed up to three separate resorts in Mexico, they ran into problems with their reservations. She says rooms booked through Prestige Travel Agency were either canceled or never booked. We had to put almost uh, $4,900 on the credit card on top of. So we're out about $12,250 as a whole. Text messages and emails show their travel agent back in Salem, Trisha Clock, told the group there was an issue with the suppliers. In all these stories, there's always a middleman. They'd get their money back, Clock said. Could take six months, though. She ghosted us and no remorse, just excuses after excuses. Paramine posted about it on Facebook and dozens of people flooded the comments, sharing their horror stories. I talked with several of them. The whole trip was 3400 and you were on payment. And we were doing payments. Rachel Perrin went through clock to book her 10 year anniversary trip to Cabo. I called the resort. Sure enough, nothing in our name. Not that we ever received a confirmation email with confirmation number or anything like that. Sam Wall thought she booked a beach house through Prestige Travel for her bachelorette party. But when she reached out to the vacation rental directly, no reservation existed. She's stealing from middle class people who work really hard to go on these vacations. She's stealing joy, not just my dollars. David Ashley wanted a travel agent to get friends and family to Cabo for his wedding. Clock came recommended. Everybody started booking. Several of my closest friends booked immediately. Uh, most of them booked around $1,500 and up. Within days, Ashley says extra charges started popping up. From places like United Airlines and Hawaiian Airlines and Air Europa and Uber. And she reassured me once those funds were paid off and those uh, transactions were approved, that then she would then refund the money. Each alleged victim said they would book with clock. She'd take the money, but never follow through. Do you think you'll see any money from her? No. Everybody else that I've talked to at this point never saw the money. I assume it's been spent. I don't think she can refund anyone because I think it's gone. A number of alleged victims have filed complaints with the Oregon Attorney General's office and with the Marion County Sheriff. The Oregon Secretary of State's office lists two travel agencies, an insurance company and an LLC under Clock's name. All of Clock's businesses list an address on Hampton Lane Northeast in Salem. So we went there. When the woman who answered the door saw our news car. Is this where Trisha Clock lives? Can, is she home? Can we talk to her? Clock has not responded to any of my emails or calls asking for her side of the story. We can't keep letting this happen. She can't keep getting away with it. After disputing charges through PayPal or their credit card companies, some have been able to recoup some or all of what they lost. Others aren't so lucky. But if I've disputed my credit cards and I get that money back, she wins either way because she still gets our money, we get our money, and then nobody does anything about it. And she continues to leave people high and dry with no place to stay or no airline tickets home. She needs to be held accountable.